Hi, this is Brianna with Spring Hill College's Archives and Special Collections. I will be your guide through this timeline of the history of Spring Hill College. Founded in 1830 by Michael Portier, Mobile's first Catholic bishop, Spring Hill College is the first institution of higher learning in the state of Alabama, the first Catholic college in the Southeast, the third oldest Jesuit college in the United States, and the fifth oldest Catholic college in the United States. Bishop Portier originally purchased 300 acres of land six miles west of the city of Mobile to establish a seminary and boarding school. His vision was to provide boys under the age of 12 with an education in classical and modern languages, mathematics, geography, astronomy, history, belles lettres, physics, and chemistry. The school had 30 students its first year and was initially staffed by Portier, who taught Greek, two priests, and four seminarians. By 1832, the age restriction had been eased and enrollment increased to approximately 130 students. In 1847, Bishop Portier invited the Fathers of the Lyons Province of the Society of Jesus to take possession of the college. Spring Hill began to follow a European model of education in which students began attending at nine years old and proceeded through both secondary and collegiate levels. In 1847, Father Francis de Sales Gautrelet was appointed president of Spring Hill College. Father President Gautrelet was distressed to learn that the college property did not include the nearby lake. He insisted that a new agreement be signed which included the lake. Because the buildings did not have plumbing, the students used the lake for bathing and recreational purposes. They called the lake Mirror Lake and the name remains to this day. In 1850, Sedali Chapel was built by the students of Spring Hill College. It remains the oldest building from the original college still in existence. Only Stewart Field House is older, but it was not part of the original college since it was acquired in 1903. In 1851, Paul Morphy was a student at Spring Hill College. Although he did not play much chess while here, he later became a grand master and an international chess celebrity. In 1857, Nemesio Guillot entered Spring Hill College, and in 1859, his brother Ernesto followed. The two returned to Havana, Cuba in 1864, bringing baseball with them, and in 1868, they founded the Havana Baseball Club. Baseball grew in popularity, and in 1878, the government created the Professional League of Cuban Baseball. An interesting fact to note is that during World War I, Spring Hill College housed a farm on campus that was used to feed service members. It was discontinued after the Allies won the war. On March 31, 1924, Babe Ruth visited Spring Hill College and demonstrated his powerful swing by giving a home run exhibition. Spring Hill College's final football coach was Earl Smith, who coached from 1937 to 1941. The football program was discontinued in December of 1941 with the start of World War II. One of the unique accounts in Spring Hill College baseball history is found within one family. Frank and Milton Bowling both played baseball for Spring Hill College and went on to play professional baseball, with Frank choosing the Milwaukee Braves and Milton the Boston Red Sox. Both Bowling brothers have given much back to Spring Hill College with their involvement in the Hall of Fame, and Frank was a key individual in its creation. In 1952, co-eds were accepted for full matriculation at Spring Hill College. In 1953, Helen Muscat won the Freshman Cup, which was awarded to the freshmen showing the greatest promise of future leadership. In 1954, Miss Pat Vincent was a 4.0 one valedictorian, however, she declined this honor and it went to Michael Zogby. The Jesuits decided in 1954 to racially integrate Spring Hill, and nine African American students were admitted. Spring Hill College was the first racially integrated college in the Deep South for 10 years, and it gained a reputation of notoriety and esteem by Martin Luther King Jr., who mentioned it in his letter from Birmingham Jail. The first African-American graduate from Spring Hill was Fannie Motley, and she graduated with honors from Spring Hill in 1956. The pinnacle of the 1955 basketball season was the Gator Bowl championship victory over the previously unbeaten University of Florida Gators. The following year, the 1956 team earned Spring Hill College its first Senior Bowl victory, defeating Memphis State in the finals. In 1958, the science complex began with Deegan Hall. Moore Hall followed in 1959 and Yancey in 1969. The buildings were used for chemistry, physics and mathematics, and biology respectfully. In 1963, Lee Harvey Oswald was invited by his cousin, a Jesuit scholastic, to address the Jesuits about life in the USSR. This occurred six months before the assassination of President JFK. After the assassination, the Federal Bureau of Investigation raided Spring Hill, but no wrongdoing was found. 
During the Vietnam War, a number of Spring Hill students were affected, most notably Stephen Karopchek and Jeremiah Denton. The President of the United States of America, authorized by an act of Congress, March 3, 1863, has awarded, in the name of the United States Congress, the Medal of Honor posthumously to First Lieutenant Stephen E. Karopchek, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Jeremiah Denton attended Spring Hill College for a short period before moving to the United States Naval Academy. During the Vietnam War, he was the prisoner of war who famously blinked torture. Later in life, he served as a United States Senator and a Rear Admiral of the United States Navy. September 12, 1979, Hurricane Frederick devastated Spring Hill College, destroying a number of live oak trees and damaging a number of buildings. In 1986, access to the college was open to Dolphin Street. It is important to note that the construction of I-65 cut off the natural spring that fed Mirror Lake, which caused the lake to lose its natural beauty. In 1992, Spring Hill College bestowed upon Hank Aaron the honorary degree of Doctor of Public Service for his perseverance in baseball. Spring Hill permanently displays a signed baseball by Hank Aaron. The beginning of the 2001 baseball season marked a change in the name of the oldest college baseball field in the nation. What was once known as the Pitt is now known as Stan Gale Field. This name change was in honor of the former longtime Spring Hill College baseball coach Stan Gale. When the new library was built in 2004, the archives were dedicated to Charlotte and Samuel Eichold III in honor of their generosity to Spring Hill College. In 2010, Harper Lee visited Spring Hill College for the second time. She had previously visited in 1997 when Spring Hill bestowed upon her a Doctor of Humane Letters. In 2014, Spring Hill presented Elaine Baer, A Stolen Life, an exhibit funded by the French government, the Memorial de la Shoah, and the SNCF. The French ambassador Francois de Latre visited the exhibit. In 2015, President Christopher Puto became the first lay president of Spring Hill College and is one of the few presidents to have graduated from SHC. The next section of our Spring Hill College timeline are fun facts that we want to share with you. Did you know President Puto was a member of ROTC here at Spring Hill College? Many members of the Spring Hill community were cadets in the ROTC program. The ROTC program lasted for many years and was later transferred to South Alabama. There was also an honor society known as the Scabbard and Blade Society. In the late 1800s to the early 1900s, students used to play tug of war. During the 60s, freshmen used to wear beanies. Did you know it has been a tradition since Stuart Field was purchased by Spring Hill College to hold commencement on the Avenue of the Oaks unless it is raining? The Archives House and 8th Century Roman Lamp. The first Spring Hill College home run baseball signed by the team. The only surviving copy of Volume 1 and 2 of S.S. Patrum Apostolic Opera, which was asked for by the University of Oxford, and a flag that has been to the moon. Thank you for listening to this timeline of Spring Hill College history. Feel free to visit the Archives and Special Collections Department housed in Burke Memorial Library, second floor. For more updates, follow us on social media. During the credits, please enjoy the fight song of Spring Hill College. Go Badgers!